was also giving him uh, some outs there uh, for a win, basically uh, um, like a for a, like a king or a or a queen. Like king queen might have a six out six outs there for or even a jack with a jack king queen or jack. So he has king queen or jack here. He basically has um six outs against me on the river. So and I obviously don't want to give him three outs there. Um, so yeah, I mean I could see I guess uh, um, check behind and then call uh, call on the river. Wouldn't be that bad I guess. Uh, let me refresh my graph, not sure how we are doing. We need to win some hands, I guess. Ah, we are back to 20 bucks, so... Not that bad. Not that bad anymore. The blue fest again had some weird, weird hand here. I'm curious, uh, let's see. Uh, Jack 10 man, when he when he has um oh, he just called called and called with his open ended so I guess now that he's kind of short he um I guess he slowed down a bit Queen Jack we raised Dunk um who was doing this the Queen Jack Garkop I'm pretty sure it was fine well. And we did open race from under the gun, and he's being a pretty uh, tight player, so that Queen Jack is... He might actually be right, that Queen Jack is kind of loose there um, for 3 bet against MVP. But it's pretty interesting, MVP actually won the hand at the end, but he was still insulting um, um, other players, so... <laughs> I guess... Uh, I mean, I don't see real uh, logic in that, but uh, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'll take this flop also. Um, I guess I'm gonna go with a check raise by the way. Um, obviously, could have a better ace to be honest over here. Uh, he did wait a few seconds there, so I'm not sure if he's actually um, scared of the ace or um, or is he actually happy of these two aces here on the board. Um, I'll fold this by the way. Yeah, I know I got a raise here. I'm gonna call even though. Um, I am obviously losing here, yeah. Just kinda hoping that he's doing this, I don't know, like King Queen or Queen Jack, even though even like a Queen 10 beats me here obviously with a straight, so um, yeah. But um, obviously that um, um, Trips Aces were um, Definitely his range, so I'm not really surprised to see it. Um, that that pause on the flop actually meant um, that he actually has a good hand, so it wasn't like, oh, I'm scared. Um, what should I do here? Uh, it was actually, um, like I said, it was actually a, having a good hand. Yeah, I need to start catching some hands here. Um, I think it's we need to um, finish in green again. Um, my my so that means I finished my week 11 uh, in my previous live stream um, in my previous week, um, and I actually finished in green. To be honest, I mean with all the rake that we got, um, we actually finished in um in profit. But my uh, my. Two weeks ago, uh, week 10 was uh, actually the first losing a week so far, so... Um, but yeah, we're obviously not playing uh, very much, we're only playing like a bit more than 2k hands per week. Um, I guess like about 3 hand, 3k hands per week, um, which is obviously not, not enough. Um, uh, it's not like a really big sample size or anything like that, so... Um, altogether we played like 27k hands, something like that, even I think it's less than 30k hands altogether, so um, some of the players... Um, Play 30k hands in one month, and obviously we need it like 11 weeks for that. Um, we just uh, playing uh, three tables per session, um, and three hours per session, and just doing three uh, sessions per week. So, yeah, uh, not that many hands in. You don't get so many hands in. Uh, so it's obviously pretty. Uh, um, still pretty good. We're doing pretty good. So, uh, well, through there here. Um, I'm gonna call, um, 
obviously 6 is not the best. Um, I do have some gacha outs. Not sure if he's capable of um, bluffing here. Um, haven't seen him bluff before. I mean, not, I'm not really paying attention to his hands. Uh, but the boar ran like, really bad for now. Um, or even there, that even turn wasn't the best. So I guess I'm gonna fold that jack. Hey, free bro. Welcome again. Good morning to you too. Um, Gerkop check raise this flop. Um, it's kind of um, draw draw. Uh, dry board here, so uh, I guess I have to um, give him some credit here. Um, I didn't. I was I was just calling for my backdoor straight outs here on the flop, so I didn't hit. So I just fought. Um, he's obviously de definitely capable of um, bluffing there, but um, I think it's fine for me to just fault Ace High there. Um, Johnny Cash open raises from under gun. I did three bad, so um, his opening range opening range is pretty. Um, pretty tight so I have to uh, definitely pay attention on uh, on the board here um, me, ha me getting a pair of tens here I think it's pretty good um, definitely gonna bet again on the river let's hope he didn't just decides to just call me down with a top pair jack probably not right now nah. cold called by Ayrton Mendy here and now he raises me on the flop I have ace king so uh, I also had a gut shot and stuff like this, so obviously if he has Jack here, he has me beat pretty good. So, um, but he he has something else here, and I might still be alive to be honest. So, um, I'm gonna call again and see what the river brings. I'm gonna dunk bet out, even though that king is not the best, obviously. And if he raises, I'm gonna fold. Yeah, I'll believe him. I'll I'll give him some credit here. I didn't want to see a check behind, so that's why I decided to don't bet here. Um, even a check call should be fine. He's he's basically playing like a very passively pre-flop, but um, his aggression factor post-flop is um, actually five for right now. So I'm not sure um, what that actually means, but how he, how he actually plays, I haven't seen him play them before. So um, I'm just hoping a fault, obviously, on the flop, but um, the board was. Not pretty really agreeing with me here, unfortunately. Um, I could b b bluff here again. Um, now that he checks, I mean, he doesn't have a king, he doesn't have a 9, I guess, even another 10. Um, when he doesn't bet on the river, so I guess, um, like, the last um, uh, the last chance for me to win the hand would be uh, a bluff again on the river. And, uh, fortunately for me, um, I succeeded. Um, Johnny Cashbow, uh, he opened race with Queen 10 before, so... I mean, even though his opening range is pretty tight, um, it's not that tight. It's not like, I don't know, with aces and kings and stuff like this. So, um, But still, I don't feel comfortable um, raising here with a pair of nines, to be honest, on a board like this. And uh, now, a ace hits. It's obviously pretty bad for me. And he bets right away. I'm gonna call anyway, um, even though I obviously expect um, a good hand here. Not sure if he's capable of uh, bluffing down. Top pair yeah. He probably isn't, but um, yeah, he actually uh, got lucky. He didn't get lucky in, in the end, but he just um, he just hits his um, ace there. So, um, open raising cap from Gerkop. Um, obviously, he's pretty scared of a play like this uh, when he uh, bets three times on a board like this. So, um, and I did lose uh, against um, Ace King. Uh, I can see a three bet here with my Queen Jack suited. So. Um, Let's make it. Let's make it. Wait here. Even though um, Gerkop, um, I think his opening range from undergun is pretty. Do you know it's fine? I can't remember that only his um, opening range from button is pretty um, pretty tight. Everything else seems uh, kind of normal. So uh, uh, top pair jack here. I'm um, gonna bet again. Obviously on the turn, uh, having some uh, plan B outs like an eight. If I'm somehow behind against queen jack or whatever. Um, obviously not if I'm behind uh, a flash row here. And he has the same hand as me. He had a free roll on the turn. Basically. Not basically. He had a free roll on the turn. Um, having a, a flash roll and I didn't want him yeah, one, so yeah. Uh, Gerkop actually opened raising caps. Now he just checked the flop. So um, um, I guess he has ace king or ace queen here. Maybe king queen. Obviously, I raised uh, when uh, Johnny Cashbow don't bet uh, that jack. Um, 
receive anything, anything else in the race with them. With pair of aces. Uh, so he don't bets the flop the turn with a top pair jack, which is kind of expected. So it's not gonna be the world the world best note here, but um, it's good to know stuff like this. Um, don't bet call. Let's make it. He called it. He didn't three bet or whatever. Even though I'm not really expecting for him to uh, don't three bet. Uh, just a top pair with a king kicker there. So. Mm, MVP decides to sit uh, sit out. Uh, let's hope this table doesn't break because it was a pretty good table, even though we weren't like doing the best. Uh, it was pretty good, pretty good anyway. So um, Alto Minde uh, limps and decides to check back. So I guess he um, so he's not like uh, just spewing dollars here on the table. Um, he actually has ace high, so it's fine. Hey, limit. Uh, limit cat is here, so he paid us a visit again. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna three bet here against him. I'm also gonna check behind this hand and just hope to hit. And I actually hit the nuts. Nice. Mm. Low best three bets us. Um, I have backdoor flush and backdoor straight, and I hit both of them. So I'm definitely going to call again here on the turn. Uh, not gonna. Not gonna bluff here, unfortunately. No. I would bet out if a queen hits on the river, obviously. Um, but I would check raise the f the flush here. So um, did he uh, get a call here? No, unfortunately not. Hmm, how are we doing? Let me uh, let me refresh my graph here. Eh, nah, meh, meh, meh. What's up, limit? Yeah. Limit meowing here. Not sure. What's he's up to? Um, low best three bets us again. So he's kind of aggressive against against us pre flop, um, especially with his three bets. Um, now we have a top pair nine. So this time we can actually play back at him. Uh, let's hope that he didn't um, uh, flop even better than us this time. Oh come on! Now that we finally hit a hand here. He's gonna. Uh, play aggressive against. I, I'm gonna call anyway. I guess I'm gonna lose here, obviously. Um, unless he uh, shows me uh, like a flash or with a, I don't know with what kind of hand, but he, we actually uh, flop the same nine here. Uh, just his was a bit better than mine <laughs> with a set of nine. So yeah, unfortunately. Ball through the here bets now. Um, not sure. If he, is he really betting with trips aces here? When he leaves, so um, I'm gonna call down this time. Um, me being a bit um, suspicious this time, but he actually has six seven, so he didn't have obviously an ace here. Um, but they, they didn't help me here uh, because he hit a six seven on the river. Unfortunately, um, kind of bad flop, but um, he did make a call. Not sure he doesn't have a seven here. I mean, he doesn't have a queen, I guess, because he just check call. He, I guess he could have a jack here. Um, not sure why is he dong baiting here now. Um, is he really this, doing this with a pair here, or um, is he bluffing here? Is that possible? Uh, I do. They do beat some hands here, I guess. I'm gonna call here uh, with my ace high. Uh, he actually has a jack, unfortunately. Um, I guess I have to refresh now that we lost. Uh, I guess three hands in a row. Yeah, 36 bucks in. In red, ouch. Ouchy, ouch. Mm. Again, three uh, hands here. Playing three hands. Um, I'm gonna peel on all all the tables here. Um, I got a gacha here. I got a top pair here on the bottom left. Uh, I'm gonna peel here once more. I'm gonna check raise. Obviously, my uh, Second pair plus a flush draw here. Betting here, continue betting, calling here. And don't betting out now with a with a with an basically uh, on idiot straight uh, straight here um, on idiot end. But I guess it's gonna be good enough. Um, Gerkop actually raises us again here. Uh, not the best news, but um, 
I mean, I guess the only the only thing that I've been here is a bluff, really. I'm pretty sure he's not doing this without worse ace than mine. Um, so he either has a bluff, not sure what kind of bluff here, um, or he has a better hand than mine. And I don't even think that he has a bluff here to boss. I mean, I could see, a, I could beat, I could beat ace three and ace five here. Uh, I'm gonna make a call, and he actually has set of five. So yeah, unfortunately he has. Um, he always has uh, a hand against me here, unfortunately. He's still doing pretty bad against me uh, at the table, so he's uh, losing uh, uh, three big bets, uh, three big blinds at the table. So. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I can bet again. Unfortunately, on a board like this, I'm I'm get zero. I'm getting zero faults here. Um, just kind of hoping that he actually decides to uh, check here. Um, the problem here is that he did raise open raise from cutoff, so um, his range is is gonna be a bit wider here. Um, so my king might even be good in some spots here. Um, not sure. I mean, he probably thinks that I I would bet a an ace on the river again. Uh, I want to turn again, I guess, um, and that's why he's dominating with a with a worse hand. Is that a um, is that a possibility here? I'm gonna call the king high, and he shows me uh, another good hand here. So um, I guess uh, I'm not gonna say it's a call deck or whatever, but um, I guess I'm kind of bumping in in people's like top range the whole time. So um, and that's no fun, definitely no fun. Hey, a ax Xan. Um, Nice to see you again too. What's up, Limit? Yeah. Yeah. Limit meowing. Limit not uh, not um, he's not uh, satisfied with my results here, I guess. 37 bucks, so um I said that I have 54 for this limit, I guess. Um $54 left, so that means we only have $70 left um, here. And I knew I knew like in a in a, in a stream before. Uh, when we were doing pretty great um, for the whole live stream, we were up like 50 bucks or even more. But at the end, I did lose like 30 dollars at the end, and I finished my session only with only 20 bucks profit. So, and I knew that the problem here is that I started that this live stream with like like I am now with uh, like 17 big bets left uh, for this limit, and uh, I knew it's gonna be kind of. Um, kind of nervous uh, uh, live stream just because we are so short and I'll have to like refresh the graph like every five minutes and so on just to see uh, if I am still um, I still have enough big of bankroll to uh, not move down um, and it's obviously um, uh, that's never pretty um, stuff here on live stream um, I have to be checking the results all the time um, I actually not really uh, not really um, I don't really do obviously I'm um, checking results on my regular limits um, so I'm um, Doing this all the time here on the last wing is um, kind of ner ner nerve wracking here for me too, even though it's only for. Uh, we're only playing like micro limits here, it's obviously not a problem uh, money wise for me, but um, uh, just like um, from um, doing. Um, from just from a point of doing uh, good here on. in the bankroll challenge, um, it's kind of nerve wracking here to. Um, to be refreshing the the graph all the way um, the whole the whole time and just doing um, like just walking on a thin ice the whole time and just um, like uh, we're basically just like one or two slips um, between um, moving down and staying at this limit so and yeah um, the problem here was like I said um, a few last minutes ago when we were doing pretty fine for the whole live stream but then I lost like uh, 30 bucks at the end of the live stream and I knew the the problem here is that I'm um, if, then I'm gonna start like the ne next live stream with um with not that big of a bankroll and I'm gonna be um even though that I uh, was playing uh, pretty um uh, like nervously from the the, the um, on the live stream before if I even though that I was doing good I'm gonna start pretty short in the next live stream so and it's basically the same here today. Um, now it's even even worse, obviously, because we are losing. So, um, but yeah. Uh, do you have stun lamps for uh, some kind of hands? For example, call the flop and check raise the turn. Um, 
yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you do this, you do this usually with monster hands, with good hands, um, with uh, flash draws, with good flash draws and stuff like this, with good simi bluffs. Um, so, uh, calling the flop and raising the turn, it's pretty standard here in a fixed limit hold'em. So, you're gonna see a, a move like this the whole, like basically, like every few minutes here. So, um, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I think to um, see here, for example, um, if there wasn't an ace here, if there was like I don't know, like a deuce here, um, I would just call the flop and raise a turn. But um, instead, I'm just gonna just call down with my pair of jacks here. Uh, did you change the quality of your stream? Nope. Um, the stream should be fine here. I, I think it's fine. Um, no problem with the stream. I'm gonna call with my jack. On... Actually, win this time, so Gerkop is definitely capable of uh, bluffing here, which is fine. Obviously, we knew that. It just a term of um, if he's bluffing on a on a two aces on a board when there are two aces there and I raised there and obviously um he wasn't bluffing at that point. But um obviously this uh this situation here is completely different than um, a hand before. So yeah. Mm. I'm not very really happy to see that queen, to be honest. Um, but gonna bet anyway. I'm gonna just limp here. Um, just want to play a, a hand against Iton Mendy here. Uh, and now I get a dong bet by Martin here. I actually am going to fold this hand. Also, fold this hand is just too small of a pot here. So we, unfortunately we keep on losing how much, um, yeah, 40 bucks, so we are really close to moving down. Um, I actually said in my previous last stream that I have to move down, but um, I kind of stayed afloat, um, even though I was like, um, we were really close to moving down, like I said before, um, but now it's even closer this session here. And got a check raise here um, on a board like this, uh, having King-10, of course, I can't fault me um, having a... A straight draw here, but now I, I think I can fold on the river, even though I hit a 10 there. here queen 3 we're not gonna play king 10 yes let's open it up um i don't usually open up king 10 but um i think it's fine again on a, on a, on a table like this um but well, i wouldn't go uh, lower than king 10 actually um would fold king 9 for sure even king 10 is like i said it's a bit um a bit on a loose side but i think it's fine on a board like this oh no on a table like this Uh, three bait by Gerkop here. Um, his three baiting range actually is not that strong. I think on uh, not sure how much he's three baiting on a small blind. I guess I guess against me he would be three baiting quite a lot. But I'm gonna call here once and probably fold on a turn. Um, I can't expect him to bet uh, um, the second time here. So. Tables are fine. Oh, here. When where did um the guy on that here was um oh well through the he quits the table unfortunately. So um I guess I'm gonna try to find another table for my bottom left. Um it looks actually a pretty good table, so kinda sad that um that he left here. Just got the blinds here, unfortunately, with my um, pair of queens. So, yeah, not trying that well, unfortunately. Um, like I said, uh, most of the time I'm just bumping into player, um, to people's uh, top range here. I mean, when I have like trips, aces, and someone hits a, f a full house or set on the flop, and um, um, when I top, uh, when I finally flop a top pair, um, someone has a set <laughs> of the same same card. So, yeah. 
uh, which hand size you would say you have to play on a limit to say that you have beat this limit um so you mean how many hands uh what the sample size uh not really sure um obviously i'm doing a um a bankroll challenge here so um if you're if you have, if you're doing a bankroll challenge that I, as i am uh, i'm just moving down up and down real quick um i'm just moving down when you have to actually have to move down it's actually fine to um start with um like i did with 200 big bets and just move up and move down when um according to the bankroll management you don't need even to know that you're actually beating the limit um uh but it's obviously it's you can you can you can see pretty fast you're actually beating the limits uh, like um obviously the if you want to know for 100 percent if you're beating the limit uh you have to play like many many hands but um you can get a pretty much a good idea if you're just play like 10k hands on 20k hands you have pretty much good idea if you're actually beating the limit or not um or if you're posting some hands on the forums and stats or your stats um, um you can actually see by your stats um pretty quickly so if someone plays like 5k hands and post uh, his stats on the on the on the forums and uh, some good player has a look on it um you can basically guess pretty quickly if he's actually a winning player or not so um you can guess pretty quick uh what did the boss team here he bets on that ace he had a pair of 10 so he did bet on the on the turn once and the check, check behind the rear that's fine um not gonna check call and check raise it here just because i am playing out of out of in um out of position so so the, the stuff that we were just uh, saying before the call the flop and raise the turn is actually um uh, uh it's actually um just um Mm, just doing when you are actually in position, so not doing this out of position. Hey, Bukwi. Um, you're saying that my camera is bad? Actually, my camera should be pretty good here. Um, it's one of the the most standard cameras that people are using here on the live stream and um, or just doing when they are doing vlogs and vlogs and all the stuff. So um, it's a Logitech. Um, um, what's it called? Um, I think it's like C920 HD camera, so um, I think it should be pretty good. But um, the worst thing, obviously, here on the live stream is not my camera, but it's my uh, connection. Really, um, I only have like two two megabits of um, of upload here, unfortunately. So um, I do have some losing packages here, as you can see. Um, I lose like 15% like of my um of my frames here on a uh, live stream unfortunately so uh that is definitely the worst thing um uh, thing here um got lucky here i guess um we didn't see him raise before with uh, any weird hand so um i guess i i got lucky here that i hit now my nine here um obviously gonna check race not gonna um kind of expecting that he's going to bet again with his king yeah he actually had a king uh, on the on the rivers again so um check race definitely in order here um Johnny Cash Bow well well I guess I'm gonna have to believe you this time Johnny mm, need another table here for bottom left uh, I did decline one of the tables before um just because I didn't have the best seat at the table but uh if the tables uh, pop out again I'm definitely take the seat this time Uh, did Martin just fold when I had that ace jack here? Um, he actually folds on the rural. I actually thought he's gonna fold on the turn already. Uh, I'm gonna do the standard C bet here. Uh, check behind the turn and call the river. Uh, just hoping that he bets with worse. That jack is obviously not the the best one, but I'm um, have to make a call anyway. And he does call with nine eight. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And just, just a second, guys. I'll be right back.
Uh, could you maybe show your stats at different limits and say something about which range uh, the stats should have? So if I, um, no, it's no problem with the questions. Um, definitely. Um, uh, that's that's why we're here, guys. Uh, let me just before I answer, let me just find a table here. Um, I'm just looking at the lobby. Here's one table that could be fine, but not very really sure. Maybe if my seat is okay here. Eh, the seat is pretty bad. Um, I mean, I I'm I won't be really showing my um my stats here uh, on the live stream about my um regular games. Um, but there are some stuff that you that, that we are just paying attention on uh, when we are looking at the stats. For example, um, uh, if you're just like posting your stats on the forums, you definitely should always post the stats about uh, positional stats, really. So um, both hold the manager and um, poker tracker have uh, positional stats, so you should definitely um, uh, choose that one when you're posting, um, when you're just posting your um, stats for evaluation on the forums. Uh, you can see pretty quickly um, how much someone is um, open raising from each position. For example, um, if they're paying attention on the, their position on the forums, you obviously should be opening less from um, under the gun or um, uh, middle position than on a cut off on big blind. Uh, you can uh, quickly see if someone is folding too much on his big blind, if he's folding too much to a steal. For example, when someone is open ra open raising open raising from the button or from the cutoff, if you are um you should be like calling like about thirty percent of the time on on the on the big blind. And if you have um like that number lower than um, that is obviously uh, higher than that is obviously uh, you're folding a bit too much. So um and there are also like C bets. C bet values. Um, uh, we are also looking at that and aggression. How your aggression? How much you are showing down the hands? Um, you should be showing down like uh, about forty percent of the time. And if you have uh, a number like I don't know thirty-five or something, that obviously you're doing something wrong. Um, or you could be even running bad. That's also also a possibility here. Um, kind of scared of that eight nine here. He did to raise like right away on the on the flop so um my race on the turn i was kind of worried about my nine there to be honest uh but i did uh, make a, a race anyway but that ace obviously scared me again on the river so i just um was just hoping to make a check call there and uh but unfortunately i was um actually ahead in a gox seven thank you for the follow, follow. Uh, welcome to mirrors mafia i'm gonna fold here obviously just trying to hit my um Straight here, or even I would, I would even call maybe with a queen there um, against Gerkop. I think uh, that wouldn't be that bad, but I'm um, uh, just uh, folding. Um, when we totally missed, um, is uh, definitely the only way to go there. Uh, Mudanov, I'm not really happy to see him gone here at the tables. Um, okay, sure, we have Alton Mende here uh, from Brazil. Um, but more, more um, obviously, uh, more bad players. Um, the better, of course. I'm gonna bet here, uh, even call here against MVP. I'm not sure if he's capable. I haven't played with him. Uh, quite a lot so he did check so I'm not sure if he's giving up the hand or he's just uh, checking for value here basically just um, he actually did um, he actually did um, basically just check fault here um, he might even like check I don't know what was the board he might even check a nine here just just he's scared to get raised on the turn and he would just check all twice uh, you see then quite a lot uh, with um, some of those passive players um, but obviously you also see uh, this with players um, betting um, all the way with like totally a missed hand so um, uh, definitely a different, different players out there um still trying to find the table um I'm on on all the waiting lists here so I just need to wait here and um, grab a table when it comes available I don't want to play on two tables uh, it's a bit slower uh, than I would like to <laughs> uh, 
3 bet by Martin. I'm not sure how much he's 3 betting here on. Um, uh, well, he's 3 betting quite a lot on the on the mini position, even though the, obviously the um, uh, the sample size is not the the best one, so I can't really uh, uh, draw any conclusions about that. Uh, I'm gonna call here again. Now that Ace hits, I can't really do much. Just about just wait to hit a, either a nine or a king here. I did hit the nine. He did check, so um, but I kind of expecting, I kind of expecting a call here from him. Um, uh, he might not have an ace, but he might have um some like king ten or something like that. So, or was he just afraid of a flood row there? He actually had jack, so yeah, about the same. I'm gonna bet here again, obviously with my pair of sevens, and I'm not gonna three bet against MVP here with my king ten. He was LOLing before when he, when uh, he got a three bet uh, by Queen Jack, so um, I guess I would get a L, an LOL also by uh, raising with um uh, by raising with uh, King Ten. Uh, so fortunately, also the eight on Mindy here quit, so this table um, went from the best one today to the worst one um, in just a matter of minutes. So. Um, I was kind of hoping that I would stay just because of a Powell here who also has a, a blue tech here um, which means that he's not the best player at the table so um, but I would love to find another another table here um, even though um, just because I had the, the, loss, the, the worst position here at the tables. Uh, King high um, the board is okay for my hand um, not sure what to expect from Iskambil here, he didn't bet on the on the turn, um, so I'm just gonna check and call the river. Um, he's gonna bet an ace, I presume. I'm just hoping that he um, bets with the queen or just bluffs on the river, but uh, he decides not to. I would call, so just just FYI, I would call with King High. I guess I could see even a bet on the river. Um, I might get a fault from some, probably not from aces, but uh, some kings might uh, might get a fault. So I would fold a um, like I would get him out uh, out of the split hand here. So maybe even call with a queen. Uh, maybe maybe a bet out would be actually fine. Hey Toma, welcome. Good morning to you too. Uh, you woke up pretty early, guys, today. Uh, let me refresh my graphic. I'm refreshing for quite some time now. Um, wow, we actually uh, move. Um, wow, we're actually down only 10 bucks now. Um, well, I'm glad that I actually decides to uh, decide to um, <laughs> refresh my graph here. Um, but I'm gonna, even though we're doing great now, I'm gonna do great. We are down 10 bucks. We're not doing great, but I guess we are doing at least better than um, we are. We were doing uh, the whole our session here. So, um, but I would still love to find another table here. A new table. So we are playing for an hour and 30 minutes. So uh, that means another hour and 40 minutes, 45 minutes is going to be my uh, regular. So play for three hours and 40, 50 minutes. It's what I usually do here on the last stream. King Jack. Um, so I'm not really surprised that I'm actually up uh, um, down only 10 bucks uh, right now. Uh, we did hit some hands here. Um, and now, so I guess we just started to hit just we start hitting hands here, so which is obviously good. Big pocket aces, welcome to the stream. I would love to have some aces here. Um, I guess expecting a dong bet from him. Wow, my king high was good here. I was saying goodbye to my hand. Um, why is he waiting so long to check here? Um. Not sure what's that about. So I guess I'm hoping to see a nice jack here and a call on the river. Guess not. I'm going to call him and raise the turn. So obviously I'm hoping that uh, Martini here continue with his aggression, but he continues with uh, continues with his um, I know uh, queen nine hand here. He does, he does call me. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. And he has 6 9. That is fine. Uh, so the new, um, now the new, um, the new challenge for on the Poker Stars for this uh, million month maker or man, I can't remember how <laughs> how the promo is called. Um, um, now the new, the new week. There's a new week, obviously the new hands uh, that you can win and the new um, stuff. So but the problem here is that um, we we have to play it on Zoom Poker. So. Um, uh, it's actually a zoom hand challenge, so but we are not playing zoom here on uh, on the live stream on the fixed limit holder. So um, I guess I'll just play this on my own on my own free time. I'm gonna open up I know like no limit two tables and just try to um, uh, clear all the all the hands. Um, uh, I guess this time we won't be adding our um, uh, prize bonuses to uh, our bankroll this time. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is no, um, like I said, there's no fixed limit hold them um, zoom pulls here. I mean, there is one, but um, we saw in live stream before, we just couldn't get it running. Um, even when we were playing on, like, on Saturday in the prime time, uh, we couldn't get uh, six players in um, to start the zoom pull. So, so I kind of decided that never gonna try it again, and I'm gonna stick with it. No way. Never again. Um, pretty good flop here, obviously, for my set of eights. Um, I'm gonna three bet here. I mean, if he just catches that flush, I guess um, I'm kind of unlucky here. But um, uh, I still have some outs on the river for a ten outs there, uh, to be exact. Um, but I have to just call here now. And he actually has four eight. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I'm gonna call again, and I guess if I call again, I'm gonna call. On the river again, he bets. Um, I'm not really, the, uh, to be honest, I'm not really expecting him to bet a better, better hand than mine. Is he really bluffing here? I don't believe so, to be honest. I guess I fault. I don't know. When I called the, the, fl the turn here, uh, a fault on the river is kind of bad, but. Eh. Hey, that road. That road um, oh, you're from the Poker Perform. Nice. Welcome here. Welcome to the Twitch live stream. Uh, I haven't posted anything yet on the on the poker perform. I want I really want to do I um I really want to do an update on poker strategy forms uh, for uh, my beard trip or whatever um you want to call it. And but I just really didn't have time really. So um, I could see a three bet here with this. Uh, I guess four is also fine. Um, Obviously, I need to, to do an update on a Poker Pro forum, also on a Slovenia forum, but yeah. Uh, did you cash anything in the challenge? I only got 6 bucks and I was signed up for all 6. I mean, I guess 6 bucks is pretty good. Um, I actually got more than that. Yes, I, I cashed in the 3 of those. Uh, I cashed in 2 times for 2 bucks and 1 time for 14 bucks. So, um, altogether, I got uh, 18 bucks here. And those 18 bucks here are also in my bankroll here now. So, yeah. Um, those 18 bucks um, were actually the difference between uh, moving uh, down here today, actually. So, uh, um, kind of just decides to call down with my pair of tens. I can't do much when he's raising me on a queen high board, so, um, can't do much here. I'm just gonna see. And it's a really dry board, obviously, so there's no, like, um, like really, uh, um, obvious, um, Flash draws or uh, straight draws here, and he did this with a pair of five, so um, that's actually pretty good. Um, I mean, I guess I would with pair of fives, I would definitely three bet pre flop, so I'm not sure why he was just calling me pre flop and then raising the turn, uh, raising the flop. And um, obviously, three bet pre flop would be better with them um, with a smaller pair like that. It's just getting trouble um, when you are waiting uh, until the flop with a uh, smaller pairs, I guess, in position. He was in position, of course. So. Uh, so yeah, I did cash, uh, like I said, 18 bucks. Um, uh, we had someone on Slovenia forums who actually uh, got um, 1,100 bucks. So um, um, in one of the in one of the challenges, so that was obviously pretty good. So um, the 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 best one was obviously the Chris Moneymaker uh, challenge uh, because not a lot of players actually um, 
cleared that so um um uh, that that's where i actually hit my 14 dollar um um uh, cash in um mm, martin here decides to bet again uh he's going to bet again on the river do you have enough outs here uh, to call um i guess the deuce is i is clearing my out but i'm um, king not really sure if actually is uh, I wish that 4 would be obviously a, a spade, but not such luck. I guess I'm gonna fold my pair of deuces here. I might even have the better, better hand, to be honest there. But he would bet again on the river, I think, when he's playing this aggressively. Uh, 3 bet by Gerkop. Um, we're kinda used to um, his 3 bets for, for when, now. I guess I should be used to it, so I'm just gonna call here. Um, Definitely gonna call down with pair of fives if the board doesn't go really bad, or maybe even um, if there's like a six or a nine on the river that obviously I uh, would kill my action here. But um, he bet again, so um, I'm not expecting him to bet with wars to be honest. But um, I uh, can't really um, he he actually does, but can't really um, I I have to keep him on the line. Really, that's what I want to say. And uh, with calling here with fives, I am keeping him on the line. So um. But he's still betting with a, like a king high, so that is fine. And I would never afford even an ace high here, so like ace king, I would never afford like ace king here, so not sure why he bets with them. Um, he doesn't get like many good hand, better hands to fold, really, that, that's what I want to say. Uh, but I called just to keep him in line, just to, um, that he doesn't start doing uh, the bluffs on the real for the whole, for the, for um, every time when I just uh, check call the flop and turn, so. Uh, it's gonna be called here. I'm gonna bet again. Obviously, I'm gonna when I three bet here. I have to bet uh, with my sixes, even though the board is not the best one. Uh, I'm gonna bet and check behind the river. I, ch I have a check option on already, and he has kings. So, um, pretty sure he wouldn't fold with kings. He might even do a LOL pair of sixes <laughs> to the bad LOL. Uh, I just see here in the lobby uh, it says um, you probably know the natural born poker player, um, the interactive game from Poker Stars. And I see a uh, Daniel Grano, I guess he played it and he got um, 86. One one not eighty six one hundred sixty two poker IQ and now it's in the lobby like Daniel's natural poker IQ is one sixty two what's yours so um um did he really get one sixty two um I don't know um in my first try I did like one fifty three I think I think of one fifty two um and my girlfriend who doesn't know what poker is uh, who doesn't know what river is she she got um I think like by one fifty seven or something like that so way more than me so it's obviously just for fun that uh, that natural ball park but i really liked it uh, i played uh, all the three games i'm not sure if that fourth game is already uh, available on the website but i played all the f the first three ones and <laughs> i'm a fish <laughs>